There we go. All right, you guys, what's up, and welcome back to the channel. It's Benny here. I hope you guys are having a good day, because I know I am. It's a good, cool weather today in San Diego, which is really, really good, because I get to work on my car for as long as I want, however long I want, because it's not hot, it's not beating down at me, it's not killing me, it's not making me any darker. So we good. But anyways, today, what we're going to be trying to start, I know I'm not going to finish it, because it's really, I've heard it's time consuming, it's really hard. No, it's not hard, it's really just time consuming. But what I'm gonna try to start doing today is we're gonna relocate the fuse box, the battery, and um, uh, the power steering, the electronic power steering shit. I don't know the full exact name. I know it's the like electronic power steering. So anyways, we're gonna try to relocate those because I didn't know. Uh, I, I, I found out, I didn't know that I guess, you know, this gets really fucking hot, obviously, because you're running all this stuff, and it heats this up, and it could damage this, and melt it, and whatnot, so, we're going to go ahead and relocate these uh, three things, now I have an idea of where I'm going to relocate them, uh, this one, usually this one, as you know, most people really relocate the battery to the trunk, this one and this one, um, they are sometimes... Well, they more most of the time they're relocated right here in this area. Uh, you're moving the this thing, the washer chingadera thingy, um, and they put it up mounting up in there. But if for some reason a fuse or something were to go out and I need to access it this would be the worst case scenario for me because I have the wide body kit and this wide body kit like goes over the fender so I would essentially have to take off this then this this side piece and then the pant this which would be just too much so I've heard I've seen some people run the lines to the inside of the cabin right a little bit above uh, the passenger wheel well or whatnot foot well um, and they have it there this I wouldn't mind running it through there but I had to see how everything would set up with uh, I don't know where this really exactly runs to and then there's this harness line too that I would have to run through somewhere because I would want to get it out of here and it kind of runs like to over here and then it ends up being like connecting over there somewhere so another thing with the battery I did not want to run the battery in the back because I'm gonna be having the chassis wing and the chassis wing kind of prevents the trunk from opening it and sooner or later I might get a spoon hardtop which completely disables your trunk so uh, we're gonna have to see what I do with this because I know they do have kits to where they can like have uh, the plugs like out here the terminals so you could you know just in case it jumps or nothing I had to look into all that but for now let's uh let's just start taking some of this stuff off it's really easy to unplug Guys, look how fucking dirty it is over here. Holy fuck, that's just, I don't even know where that's from. I don't even know how I got in here. But it's pretty dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and just clean it up. I took everything off. Um, so now I'm gonna figure out where I wanna run all this stuff through and how I wanna run it. Um, 
but I'm disconnecting everything that needs to be disconnected for now. Uh, so we'll see. Jeez. That was, uh, damn. All right, so let me do some little explaining here. Uh, all right, this, now, this I'm gonna run it through the inside. I gotta make sure I'm not gonna uh, run it anywhere my t wheels will touch because as you guys know I got some fucking wide as wheels so I gotta make sure I'm running it somewhere safely uh, secure and good it's more likely be like somewhere up here uh, we do got rub marks right here but I don't know if that was from the previous tire setup that I had because I had Toyo tires those were thick ass tires and I have Falcons they're a little bit better um, but I'm gonna run it through up here. See if I can run it through right here. As you can see, these holes. I'll probably see if I can. If not, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> I'll run it through here. Run. Uh, I took off the head. The headlight has some stuff in there. Put it through there. Maybe run it back through this bottom right. Through the bottom right here underneath this oh shit underneath this brace or uh, whatever you want to call it and then back to where it connects over here oh and then it also runs through <coughs> to some some areas right here with the horns and this AC condenser but I'll figure that out right now uh, <clears throat> I know some people say you have to splice and cut and extend the wires. This I still have not figured out yet because I don't know. This is the the fuse box. So I don't know if I'm going to run it through this firewall right here and then into the wheel well. Let me figure it out. Alright. Uh, oh shit. I think that's it right there so the run the lines in through right there can you, i don't know if you, that one right there i think i can't really see it i'm using my camera as like a little run them through there set up the fuel box somewhere in here i also thought that thought about doing the battery somewhere in here maybe if not uh i'm definitely gonna have to run something I'm definitely gonna have to run something through to the trunk and then have something come out so where if I ever need a jump start, it's there, you know. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some wire for the battery, some gauge wire to extend it. My trunk is already full as it is, man. Adding a battery is gonna make it even more full. It only has so much room, but it can be done. And uh, yeah. Whew. All right, you guys. So I wrapped it up. Um, I'm not gonna finish today because it's like time consuming, like I said. And I gotta go get wire for the gauge wire, but I am gonna be able to run it through here for the fuse box, these wires. Potentially, I'm still gonna look more into it, but more likely I'm gonna try to run it through here into the cabin and then just have the fuse box in there instead of the wheel well just in case and then the battery i'm gonna go try to see if i could find for a gauge wire to extend it and do all whatnot that i need to to run it to the back and then as well as i got all the wires already i haven't do it, i haven't done anything i have them sitting right there because i'm like i said i'm wrapping it up but i'm gonna run them through here shouldn't be too hard and then also i know there is a ac relocation kit uh, that I'm gonna be trying to do so uh, I can remove these AC lines. I'm probably just gonna remove them temporarily um, But yeah, so for the meantime, I uh, I mean I gotta clean up right here and uh, But I mean shit 
it's looking cleaner already even if it's dirty but once we get this AC line move, removed for sure it's gonna be looking way better but I also know there are some things over here that I can remove which I'm gonna be removing which is gonna look even way better and cleaner so that's gonna be good I'm gonna have a clean engine bay and hopefully maybe if I'm able to probably paint some of what I can uh, once I start hiding everything away to give it more of a better look that goes with the black instead of this stock silver that I have underneath um but for now I guess uh, we're going good so far all right so I had to stop change shirt because I was wearing white shirt it was dirty but I had to stop because we got to get Jamie some food because she's hungry because she she's got to be selfish she's got to eat something but it's okay I work because I'm hungry too so and I did too. I just got done working. What do you? Well, I'm still working right now. I actually had a real job. Oh, this is a real job. <laughs> got to cover up the car. I was just can't be showing. A little nip slip over here. Uh, a little nip slip. So as I was going back to cover up the car right now, as you said, you guys have heard me say nip slip. Uh, but the guy, the liquor store, the corner guy, the owner, he goes and tells me. Shame on her, man. She's showing the legs for everybody. I was like, yeah, huh? That was pretty funny. We were thinking the same thing. I don't get it. Because, like, the car, the cover was open. Like, it was flopping up. Oh. You know, so it's like it's clothing. Man, human. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> All right, so I got what I needed. Now, my only worry is... I feel like it might not be, it might not be long enough. But I'm hoping it is. I'm, I'm hoping it is. We'll see. I got all the wiring taken off. Now I'm gonna reroute it through the through the side of the frame all the way to. So the connectors that connect to are the uh, the power steering, or yeah, the column. It's the power steering. So, anyways, I'm rerouting those all the way through. Um, I'm gonna have to extend some wires and run them through, but I mean, everything's looking good so far. Now, unless we run into any kind of problems that are hidden beneath the car in the shadows, you know, valley of death. But, anyways, other than that, um, I think we're, I mean, we're gonna be having kind of like a mini wire tuck, which I'm pretty excited because I'm also gonna paint, like I've said, I'm gonna paint the frame of the car black. So it could look a little better than the ugly ass silver because I don't like looking at it. It's ugly. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe cut subscribe button. Leave a like or you know comment down. I don't know whatever you want to comment. But also go ahead and check out our shop online. Hit the links down below. And if you've seen any, um, if you've seen any products that you want you see any products in the video that you like go i have probably the links are down below if not i have products that i've used in the past go ahead and click those and you can buy the product you can buy the product it's faster and easier instead of having to go look for or comment and dm me and asking me what it's about but anyways thank you guys for watching peace out see you in the next one